Welcome back guys, it's Crafty Fox, and we're going to be finishing up the Metro Train tutorial, Minor Charlie 251's commission, and before we just did the tutorial of the F59PH, and now we're going to do the rolling stock. So this is actually uh, the Nippon Shario Gallery by level cars, and there are two types of cars. One is the 8500, it's a cab car, while the other one is a Type 6000, and it is a trailer. And they both are ADA compliant with their bathrooms, which is located right here. So that's the part where there is no windows. And uh, these two cars are actually fairly similar. The only main difference <laughs> is going to be that one has a cab. Now you can compare it with my older one that I made back in 2017. So that's like five years ago. It is very outdated. So we're doing it yet again in 2022. Let's go take a look at the details. So right here in the front, we got the red and white uh, chevrons. You got like the door, it's like locked. And here are like the cab controls. Light on top, the horn. And here we got the Metro logo here on the side. And we got the windows and they are more accurate than these windows because <laughs> the pillars are not supposed to be like one block wide. Also, I had a problem my uh, one like five years ago. Probably I uh, messed up with the windows or something, and or I thought there was like three types of cars, but really there's only two types of cars. Um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, underneath this uh, doorway, we got like yellow for the stripe. We got some underside detail. We got the trucks, and then here's what looks like on the other side. So this one, this side has like all the windows fully decked out. And these are like the wheelchair accessible logo. And on top there's like a vent here. Really there's supposed to be like two things, but I can't really add a center divider. And then here's what it looks like on the end. Now I've actually assembled a sample train set right over here. So for my example, I added two cab cars on the end, which I did see in a video. So I replicated that. And then I added four trailer cars. And then I put the EMD F59PH right at the front. So this is what a sample train would look like if you were to build the whole thing. And of course you can like uh, mix and match uh, whatever you want. I'm not sure what is the typical metric consist number. And special thanks to MinorCharlie251 for commissioning this build and making this video possible. If you guys are interested in commissioning a build for yourself, check out the link in the description. Anyways, let's get started. So first off, I got the locomotive here. So I'll just be pretending like you already built the locomotive and then we'll build um, this regular coach. And then after that, I'll modify it to show you how to make the cab coach. And each of these cars are 39 blocks wide, excluding the gangways. So let's grab some materials. Uh, we're gonna take out a dark oak slab, a polished andesite block, stone block, a dark oak, um, Fence gate, light gray carpet, and a site wall, and rod, stone brick block. And that's all we have right now. So uh, first off, we're gonna add in the coupler. So we're gonna add in dark oak fence gate, dark oak slab, and a light gray carpet on top. Polish and a site right behind it. Then we'll add in upside down, polish and a site stairs and then a polished blackstone brick block. Then we'll add in stone block inside here. And we are going to make it so it is 37 blocks long. So 37 for just the stone part. Once we do that, we're going to add in a polished andesite block. And then our dark oak slab, light gray carpet on top. And then polish... Um, and side stairs upside down, and then polished black stone brick block right behind it like that. And then our dark oak fence gate right there. Another dark oak fence gate, open that up like that. And then go to the front, add in that fence gate there as well. All right, next up, we're going to add polished and a site block, uh, one right here. And then a uh, polished and a site slab on top, and behind it, two blocks tall, black concrete and then two polished andesite slabs at the top. Then we'll add in a stone block on top, three blocks wide, and then a stone brick block underneath at the edge, and then stone block, wrap it around it, all shaped like that. 
and then uh, another two stone blocks here and then a stone bricks uh, block right there and uh, this <laughs> fence gate that's actually one block it's like right next to the other fence gate so misplaced it so put that right in the front there then we'll add in polish and a site slab and we're gonna make that go you know three blocks wide like that all right then we'll add in a birch fence gate Right, this edge, move that up. And we're also gonna add in um, polish andesite slab right over here. And an andesite wall, make that three blocks tall. And then on top of that, we'll add in a light gray glass pane, two blocks tall. And then two stone brick uh, blocks right there, as well as a stone brick slab right there all right cool all right so next we're going to make the window so go down here make a black concrete two by five two blocks tall five blocks long just like that and then we'll add in some windows so it's going to be polish i mean stone brick slab two blocks wide top of the bottom skip a block add one top to bottom and then stone brick stairs in the corners of this just to make it a rectangle so there we got these two windows and then on top we'll add in a row of stone brick like that. Top row we're going to add in um, just black concrete on the top row like that. As well as stone brick blocks. Two blocks wide all the way across this side and as the edge is going to be stone brick slabs like that. Now what we want to do is we want to make more of these so we're going to copy everything from this part all the way down to this window here and we're going to make two more sets of these so they should be like that so we have six windows in total now all right and now we're going to add in these dividers at the top so i use iron trap doors and if you're using vanilla you probably can't use that so we need a substitute you can either go with birch or you can go with spruce trap door. So it's up to you which block you think looks better. Uh, but yeah, we're going to line up with this first pillar here. And we're going to make um, back to back trap doors like that. And again, if you want to use birch, I'll show you what it looks like. All right. So I don't know. I just for, for this tutorial, I'll just go with spruce. And then we'll add in anisite wall for the other pillar. And then we'll do the same thing with the next pillar, back to back. And then anisite in the back to back. Another anisite right there. Very cool so far. Now, uh, we're gonna add in stone blocks. So that's gonna be um, two blocks long, right next to this wall like that. And then we're gonna add in three bedrocks. So one, two, three. Underneath, we'll add in three blocks wide, stone brick blocks like that, and then stone brick blocks on the top part extended out. Just before the bedrock, then we'll add in a polished andesite slab, a dangling up from the bedrock, and then stone brick slabs all the way across the edge. And the middle, we'll add in polished um, andesite. Then we'll add in polished andesite blocks, two blocks wide here bedrock and then uh, polish in a site stairs like that and then two blocks wide polish in a site next we'll go down here and uh, we're going to add in in a site wall and we're going to make that three blocks tall in the middle here and then we'll add in two blocks tall right over here and then a polish um, blackstone brick wall in this corner and the inside of that will add in black concrete and the inside of these walls will add in stone blocks. All right, next up we'll add in our stone brick slab. Another two here and another two at the top. That fill in the inside of that with stone. Right across like that. All right, all right, next underneath these walls we'll add in two blocks wide, oak slab. Then two polished andesite slabs. And this polished andesite slab at the edge will extend that up to meet up with the middle. 
And then we'll add in um, stone block here and then stone brick block on the outer edge. And basically what we want to do is we want to extend it all the way to the front. So however many blocks that is, should be looking like this. All right, then on next to the door, we'll add in two blocks tall, iron bar like that, go in the front here, and we'll add in end rod sticking out like that. And over here in the middle, we'll add in a chain going horizontally. All right, so now I'm going to make the wheels. So let's go down here. And we're going to skip a block away from this and then add in our gray terracotta. After that, we'll add in a dark oak slab and then two blocks wide diorite wall. Then dark oak slab. And then a gray terracotta. Hoppers on the sides of the wheels. With the two blocks wide polished diorite slabs here in the middle. And then upside down polished diorite stairs on the sides. Then the inside of this is going to be this is going to be dark oak slabs all the way across. And then a dark oak fence gate opened up towards that slab on each end. Now we're to copy everything that we did on this side and build it over there. All right, so once you've built it on the other side, it should look like this. And then we'll copy everything that we did on this side and build the other half. All right, so once we have both halves, it should look like this. Now, we're going to make um, the differences between each side. And the main difference is the bathroom, so the lack of windows on this area, yeah. So to do that, go on this side, and what we're going to do is we're going to delete these two windows here, just fill that in with stone, delete that wall there, fill it in, and then we'll go down here, and we'll change these stairs here into slabs, and we'll also change the inside of these black concretes into stone. Then we'll go up over here and punch in, um, I would say five blocks of so one, two, three, four, five, and then add in another two stone brick blocks like that. Then we'll add in our um, light blue concrete on the edges and then three light blue concretes on the inside of that. And then we'll add in two smooth Quartz slabs, I mean stairs, and then we'll add in smooth quartz slab like that. This bottom area will punch in a hole, add in a polished black stone brick slab, and then a oak bun right underneath it. Next, we'll go over here, fill this in, stone brick. Very nice. We'll go over here and add in stone bun next to the bedrock. And let's go on to the other side. All right, so on this side, we'll add in stone brick blocks. Fill that in here. And we'll go over here and punch in another three. Add in light blue concretes on the edges, three in the middle, then two smooth quartz stairs and smooth quartz slab. Stone bun above this. Down below, we'll add in oak bun. And then we'll add in our polished black stone brick slab inside like that and now we'll go over here punch in two blocks wide and then we'll add in the inside lapisuli and then gray concrete and then two stone stairs maybe a little bit tricky to get them right so you can delete this block temporarily just to add it so they make that l shape like that just to get the logos right and on the other side, punch in these two block wide, and then do the same thing pretty much. Then we'll need our stone stairs. Adding those two. Just like that. Very nice. And then we'll add in polish andesite um, slabs. Gonna be uh, two over here. Then go over here, skip a block, add one there. Then we'll skip to add in two smooth stone slabs. Then go over here and add in two iron trap doors like that. Then go on the other side. And then we'll add in. And we're going to skip two blocks here. Add in 
four polish inside slabs. Birch fence gate, open that up. Iron trap door, skip block iron trap door. And then smooth stone slab here. And then uh, birch fence gate, open that up there. The outside, add in four smooth stone slabs like that. All right, then we'll go on the roof here, go to the corner, add in cobblestone slab there. And the other side, add another one there. Also add in another one above the slab. And yeah, that should be pretty much it on how to make the regular coach. Now I'm gonna make a copy of this and then we'll convert it to the cab coach. All right, so I made the copy. Now let's convert it to a cab coach. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in smooth quartz block. I'm gonna make an X right here, X shape. All right, and then we're gonna add in um, these two red concretes on a diagonal, both sides. The other one here in the middle. And add in another two diagonal here. Another two diagonal here, then smooth quartz, making it checkerboard. Then we're gonna go on side here, and we're gonna add in a birch fence gate, open that up. On the other side, we're gonna add in our skeleton skull like that, and we're also gonna change this into a plow. So just delete all these slabs over here. And we're gonna add an upside down polish, um, polish andesite stairs, so that polish andesite stairs just three blocks wide like that, and I can't even get out. Help! Oh, and I guess I remove that skeleton skull just to get out of there. Add it, add it in stairs that's cornered. Put it back to skull. Yeah, quarter that edge up like that, and then we'll add in a dark oak um, fence gate down at the bottom here. Open them up like so, and then we'll remove this uh, birch fence gate both sides. And above, we'll add in a spruce sign right there, both sides. And then we'll add in two light gray banners like that per side, like so. And then a dark oak fence gate in the middle here. Punch in a hole here, both sides, and add in a black glass, both sides, and then black glass pane behind it. Then we'll add in an iron bar to the side of that. A redstone torch right underneath the windows. And then stone buttons, one here in the middle, and then one underneath each of these torches. Then on the side, there's going to be an andesite wall. So remove that trap door just to add it there. Both sides. Just like that. And then on top, we're going to add three blocks wide. Light gray carpet. Dark oak trap door. Black stone button. Stone button. And we're also going to move this cobblestone slab. So it's going to be right here. Put the stone brick slab in its place and go to the middle, add in a black stone button right there. Then we'll go down here and we're going to add in, well, we'll remove this block here and we'll add in two polish sight slabs there. Inside, we'll add in three. And then we'll add in stone and we're going to add in two polish sight slabs like that. Inside three. And then smooth stone slabs, two of them spaced apart like that. And we're also going to go up over here and we're going to change the top corners to mangrove slabs instead like so. And yeah, I believe that's pretty much it on how to make the Metro Nippon Shario Gallery cars in Minecraft. And thanks again to MinerCharlie251 for commissioning this build and making this video possible. Again, if you guys are interested in doing commission, check out the link in the description. If you guys, did you enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you had already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.